if a man smokes and he has high blood cholesterol, has high, high hypertension, yeah. but he exercises, he will outlive a man who doesn't have any of those problems who doesn't exercise. You heard what the doctor said, right? A guy who smokes battles high blood pressure and hypertension, but still rocking the gym might just outlive Mr. No Problems But No Exercise. Meet Dr. John Scharfenberg, 100 years old and the living legend proving that being healthy isn't a ticket to a problem-free life. Turns out that staying fit is the real deal. If you don't exercise, you're, not, you're gonna die sooner. Today's video spills the secrets on how to exercise like a champion, following in the footsteps of Dr. Scharfenberg. This video reveals his easy diet hacks and most importantly, spills the tea on what to embrace and what to avoid if you're dreaming of hitting that impressive, long, healthy life. Scharfenberg Exercise Dr. John Scharfenberg is a wise 100, year-old nutrition professor who practices what he preaches. With a rich history in nutrition, he spent his life studying how what we eat and how we live affect how long we live. So, when asked about the secret to a long, healthy life, Dr. Scharfenberg was quick to point out that exercise is the key. If you are gonna share seven of the high point secrets to people's longevity, what they might do or what they might avoid, where would you begin? I think I would talk about exercise. Okay. I think that's extremely important. He says that not exercising puts you at risk for heart problems, which is kind of a big deal. But according to him, there are actually seven things you can avoid to steer clear of heart issues. And those are smoking, drinking too much, not moving enough, being too heavy, eating too much meat and sugar, having high blood pressure and high cholesterol. However, just checking cholesterol levels isn't enough to know if your heart is healthy. So even if you exercise but still smoke, it doesn't guarantee you'll live a super long life. But here's the good part. Changing how you live can make a big difference. Dr. Scharfenberg suggests one of the best things you can do is exercise. Combine that with eating well, which means saying no to animal products and choosing more green foods and you're on the right track. He said that vegetarians tend to live longer, with almost half of them reaching 85 or older, compared to only 19.5% in the general population. According to Dr. Scharfenberg, women even tend to outlive men. In the general population, about 39.3% make it to 85 or older. But for vegetarian women, it's an impressive 60.1%. The general population, 39.3% live to be 85 or older. Mm -hmm. But for the vegetarian women, it was 60.1%. So the, the jury is in. If you're a vegetarian, you're gonna have less disease, and you're gonna live longer. That's right. He even shares a nugget of wisdom from Harvard alumni, revealing that for each hour of exercise, you potentially add three more hours to your life. But too much exercise can actually make you live less. It's about finding a balance. Dr. Scharfenberg promotes the idea of useful exercise, such as gardening and farming, which not only benefits your body, but also serves a purpose. Now, if you ask him about his favorite exercise, it's just walking. So now walking's a good exercise, right? Walking is a good exercise, yeah, yeah. it is. He's not into extreme sports or going overboard with workouts. He believes in keeping it simple and practical. Studies also say that exercising when you're middle age can help lower the chances of Alzheimer's. So even at 100, Dr. Scharfenberg sticks to this middle-aged mindset to stay sharp and healthy. Dr. Scharfenberg points out that exercise is a powerhouse. It not only benefits your body, but also brightens your mood, increases energy, and strengthens your immune system. He recommends targeting a minimum of 30 minutes of moderate physical activity daily, and if you can do more, that's even better. When it comes to longevity, childhood experiences are also a big deal. Dr. Schaffernberg finds it very exciting to note that many diseases in adulthood actually start in childhood. So it's crucial for parents to create a healthy environment for their kids early on. Things like emotionally taking care of your kids, providing enough love and attention, or giving them proper food if they're struggling financially. Even having family members with mental health issues or who've been to jail can create stress for kids, affecting their health and lifespan. 
While some kids are resilient and can overcome these challenges with good mentors, religion, or outdoor activities, it's a challenge for us to befriend kids in high-risk situations, become positive influences, and help them into healthy environments. Also, being connected to something bigger, like having strong spiritual or religious beliefs, is common among those who live a long time. It gives them a sense of purpose and makes life more meaningful. Dr. Schaffernberg's diet. But just working out and being spiritual doesn't cut it. Let's make this clear. Dr. Schaffernberg suggests that the real deal is combining exercise with a healthy diet. As individuals grow older, their bodies aren't as efficient at making and using energy, so they don't need as much food to stay healthy. It's a fact often forgotten, but is crucial for health as people age. Recent research even shows that overeating in middle age and beyond can not only lead to weight gain, but also deplete the body's limited energy. Dr. Schaffernberg has a strong belief that food like red meat, dairy, and eggs aren't the best for our health or for the environment. To keep himself on the healthy track, he steers clear of processed foods, alcohol, caffeine, and tobacco. Instead, his go-to eats include loads of fruits, veggies, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Hydration is a big deal for him too, with plenty of water and herbal teas in the mix. Following the motto, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper, guides his daily food choices. Now let's talk about when he eats. His first meal happens around 10 in the morning and he wraps up his eating for the day by six in the evening. Why does he do this? Well, he says it helps keep our blood sugar in check, lowers cholesterol, fights inflammation, and does this cool thing called autophagy. Autophagy is like a superhero process where your cells clean up and renew themselves. He follows this routine for almost his entire life. Going to bed early and waking up at 4 a.m. during breakfast, he enjoys healthy waffles with bananas, applesauce, and oats. For lunch, he opts for fruits like mangoes, bananas, raisins, prunes, nuts, cherries, tomatoes, snow peas, and cautioning against white potatoes. Now, if you believe you've tried everything but still don't feel healthy, Dr. Schaffenberg has something to say about it. Stick around until the end to find out the reason, and you'll also get tips on which vitamins to take and some very important advice to remember. So, aside from eating healthy food, he also talks about fasting. It's not like he's saying don't eat all, but more like giving your body some time without food. And according to studies he mentions, this fasting thing can actually help you live longer and dodge chronic diseases. Dr. Schaffernberg also stresses the importance of vitamin D for good health. He personally takes a daily vitamin D gummy and sees its positive impact. Advising on sun exposure, he recommends enjoying around 20 minutes of sunshine before applying sunscreen, especially for those at higher risk. Everybody living north of, say, Washington, D.C. or New yeah. York City, those people are all deficient in vitamin D. Now, when it comes to addressing the calcium needs of total vegetarians who avoid milk and eggs, Dr. Schaffernbeg refers to the EPIC Oxford study. This study indicates that insufficient calcium intake is associated with a higher risk of bone fractures. However, Consuming around 525 milligrams of calcium per day poses no excess risk of fractures. Dr. Schaffernberg suggests two natural approaches to achieve this. First, reducing salt intake by half helps control calcium excretion. Second, ensuring adequate vitamin D levels significantly enhances calcium absorption, providing a natural and effective way to maintain bone health. Another thing Dr. Schaffernberg suggests is keeping a positive attitude and outlook on life. It's a crucial part of living a long life. Many people who reach 100 years old have this positive and hopeful mindset, which helps them tackle life's difficulties and keep their mental health in check. Now, if you're yelling, I've tried everything, why am I still not healthy? Dr. Schaffernbeg thinks your upbringing might be part of the puzzle. As we get older, stress is inevitable. People face tough situations, but Dr. Schaffernbeg believes that having trust in God can help unload that stress. It's not just the stress itself, but how you react to it that matters. 
stress as a factor. It's your reaction to the stress. There you go. Is the factor. So achieving a healthy lifestyle might demand sacrifices, but the payoff in longevity is priceless. Remember, a plant-packed diet, a sprinkle of nuts, a dash of soy-based goodness, and regular strolls or gardening can go a long way. Build those strong social ties, find purpose through spirituality, and always keep that positive vibe. These simple tips could be your ticket to a longer, healthier journey. In this video, we explored Dr. Schaffernberg's exercise routine, diet tips, and even the reasons you might still feel unhealthy. Following these tips has helped him achieve a long and happy life, and who knows, they might work well for you too. If you want to embrace more healthy habits and a positive mindset for a long and vibrant life, be sure to catch our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and fitness ideas to live your best life.